Hey guys, hey, I am going over the Yeti Blue today and just wanted to uh, share a couple things I've learned from the last year or so using it. And I wanted to show how easy it is to just alleviate some of the background noise that this microphone can pick up. If you're in a room and there's any kind of noise going on, it'll go right into this microphone. So I've discovered this by doing voiceover work and I've had my hand on this thing or just hit it like that and boom it's right into the into the video and so after hours of mixing background music and putting all kinds of different tracks on you've got this bumps in here it's like what the heck is that so be very cognizant of where this microphone's at and holding on to it because everything will just go right into the microphone same thing what's ever going on in the room or in the house you want to make sure that the house is pretty darn quiet and silent so that means that kids aren't making noise the tv's not blasting and what have you because that's all going to come right into this microphone another thing too is just the base where this microphone is sitting here i'm going to put this on my desk for a moment where my imac sitting and you can hear a vibration Hear that vibration? That would go right into the uh, audio track of what I'm trying to get accomplished. If we look on the Yeti site here, you've got a few different options here. There's got four main options. There's actually a couple buttons on the back of the Yeti here, if you can see on the microphone. You've got a gain on here, and the gain will actually turn up how much sensitivity. And you want. I typically keep the gain down because this microphone is so powerful that uh, if you got this micro this gain just a hair up you've got really clear clarity and i've really been happy with that so you've got four different options here you've got the stereo mode the cardroid mode the omnidirectional mode and the bi-directional mode stereo mode is going to be for left and right so if we flipped it on here i'll flip it over and basically we're in stereo now so i feel like i'm kind of like a dj here talking on a uh, radio radio station so that's what that's for then you have cardroid mode and that is suited more for uh, vocal performances voiceovers and it's pretty commonplace for what we're trying to get accomplished or doing youtube videos for that matter and uh, if you look here on their site you can see the different the sound source direction there so that'll kind of tell you what's going on and you can get away with these different modes and for the most part i'm not exactly sure how many people would actually really pay attention or, or really notice on a recording so but for the most part i just keep it on the car drive mode i'll switch it back over here so those are the really only big things with the microphone it's an incredible tool it really changes the game in terms of uh, microphone and what you can actually bring to the table for roughly around a hundred dollars for a microphone and they just they just look cool too so anyways that's my uh that's my tip for the day i just wanted to share that and if you don't have a yeti um, they're well worth the money they're just a really uh, bulletproof product i've had mine for about a year and a half or so and they they don't go out and they're really cool so and if you do have a yeti at least you know that when you're doing a recording you want to make sure that you are basically in a capsulated environment and you'll have a really cool recording. Okay, that's my tip for the day. Okay, thanks.